Christian Parenting. Fatherly advice. Do those two words bring you comfort or anxiety? Join us today for a special edition of Family Vision. Hi, my name is Millie Reno. Welcome to Family Vision with my parents, Dr. Rob and Amy Reno. Strengthening families through practical, encouraging, and real conversations. Family Vision is powered by the Christian Parenting Network. Rob Reno here with Visionary Family Ministries. Welcome to a special edition of Family Vision. Today, we want to introduce you to a friend of ours, Carrie Green. Carrie has served as a pastor and now leads various online ministries, including his daily podcast, The Morning Mindset. Each episode of The Morning Mindset's just six minutes, and it centers on a short portion of Scripture to help get your day grounded in the Word of God. Last year, Carrie walked through the book of Proverbs, and one of my favorite episodes focused on fatherly advice taken from Proverbs 4. I wanted to share that episode with you here on Family Vision, and if it's an encouragement to you, subscribe to The Morning Mindset to continue receiving these daily Scripture-based encouragements. Here is Carrie Green. Hello friends, here we are. We're back at it. We're heading back into another day. And the Morning Mindset is here to help you get your mind aligned with the truth of God. I hope that's why you're here. I hope that's your goal. Let's just take a moment and take that deep breath and let out all our cares and the stress in our body and just get ourselves ready for our minds to get aligned with the truth of God as we hear it today on the Morning Mindset. And really, we're hearing it from God himself through the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. And today, we're going to get a little bit of fatherly advice. Now, I know some of you may not have had the best earthly father, and the word father may bring up negative connotations to you. But I want to encourage you to stop for a moment and just clear your mind of all those kinds of definitions and try to push away the experiences you had with your earthly father if they were negative experiences so that you can receive what the Lord wants for you today. You see, I think all of us, deep down, hear that word, Father, and we want it to mean something. We want it to be a touching, empowering word to us because we know in our heart of hearts what our Father should have been or should be. And some of you have that blessing. You experience that from your earthly Father, and I praise the Lord for that. But today, we are going to receive advice from a father that is exactly what every earthly father should have passed our way. Let's listen. Proverbs 4, verses 1 through 6. Hear, O sons and daughters, a father's instruction, and be attentive that you may gain insight. For I give you good precepts. Do not forsake my teaching. When I was a son with my father, tender, the only one in the sight of my mother, he taught me and he said to me, let your heart hold fast my words, keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, get insight. Do not forget and do not turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her and she will keep you. Love her and she will guard you. So what is this father telling his son? And what is he saying to us as sons and daughters? He's saying, I'm giving you good advice. Please don't turn away from this. This fatherly advice comes from a heart that cares for you. Just like my father taught me, I want to teach you. And here's what I want you to hear. Get wisdom. Seek after it. Get insight. Seek after it. Now think about that phrase, seeking after something. It takes intentionality, doesn't it? It takes purpose. It takes a commitment and drive. Think about the last thing you sought after. Maybe you were going shopping and you had a particular thing you had to find. You stayed focused. You found other things along the way, but you always came back to that purpose, that thing you were searching for. Think about education, when you want to learn a certain thing or become uh, competent in a certain discipline. You go to a guidance counselor at school, they help you make out a plan and you follow a course of instruction. 
semester after semester, day after day, and you pursue it with intention. This father is saying, you need to keep on track in pursuing wisdom, in pursuing insight. Do not forget that. Do not turn away from this advice because wisdom and insight are two of the most valuable treasures you could ever seek in your life. He says in verse 6, just a little taste of what they'll bring to your life. If you do not forsake wisdom, wisdom will not forsake you. He personifies wisdom as a woman and he says, she will keep you. Love her and she will guard you. You see, when we set our hearts to pursue the wisdom that God has made available to us, there are amazing benefits there. Benefits of protection. Benefits of of guidance, benefits of insight and knowledge that we would not have any other way. My friends, this fatherly advice is advice worth listening to, don't you think? I want to orient my heart and my mind to pursue wisdom even more after reading this passage. Do you? Father, guide us in your wisdom. And thank you for doing so on such an elementary level today showing us the high value that wisdom should hold in our own hearts and minds. Enable us to seek after her, to get her. Enable us to receive insight. Lord, guide us by it, that we may be people who honor you and display your glory for a needy world to see. Jesus, fill us up with wisdom today for today's challenges and problems. It's in your name we ask it. Amen. Amen.